I'm standing here next to a 3D printer you probably have never heard about. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. I'm here in the Edge of Tech studios, proudly powered by STL Flix. If you haven't heard of STL Flix, they are like the Netflix of 3D printing and they have a ton of new models being added every week. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description below. So today we're taking a first look at the El, El Richie, El Ricky, El Ricky. I'm not sure how you say it. I'll put it right here. El Yarchi. But it's the Alchemin, A-L-C-H-E-M-A-N. I Correct me in the comments below if you know how to say it. It boasts some crazy features that could really shake things up in the 3D printing world. Before we jump into the first look of this printer, I gotta say it was actually super easy to assemble and it was up and running in no time. Uh, there is a glass top on the top here and everything was packed pretty good in here. There was a little bit of shipping damage, but that wasn't a big deal and they sent me a couple parts to replace what broke, uh, specifically the hinge over on the door right here. Now the Alkalman has a steel frame and is fully enclosed with aluminum alloy. It has some really, really sweet side panels that look something like that which I actually really love. The active chamber heater inside in the bottom keeps things nice and toasty, and they say that it can get up to 90 C inside of this printer. As we go inside the printer, you notice a 300 by 300 by 300 build area, which is great for those larger projects. The two RGB lights that come in the chamber here are actually pretty cool, and they light up uh, with the chamber and keep your prints lit up as they print as well. I honestly don't know if I've ever had a printer come with RGB, but there's always a first for everything, right? <laughs> now the heat bed inside, they say is rated for 130 C, which I have not tested to those temperatures yet. But it does come with a flex plate that gets your prints off nice and easy when the print is cooled down. I can vouch that this flex plate works fine as most flex plates do now, but honestly, more testing is going to be needed for the 130C. I just haven't got it there yet, but I will. Don't worry. As with most of the popular printers these days, this is a Core XY, and it uses linear rails to keep things smooth and precise. They actually help the printer hit the very fast advertised speeds of 500 millimeters a second and an acceleration of 20,000 millimeters a second. Now that is advertised. I'm not saying you're going to hit that all the time, but it is a pretty fast printer. Now the hot end inside uses a ceramic heater with metal and nylon gears inside and they say it can go up to 450 C, making this thing a really good printer for even those very high temp of materials like peak and PPS and PEI, uh, PA and PC of course too. Uh, I have not tried those super high temp materials through this, but I will be putting them through the paces. Like I said, this is a first look video, not a review, and I've only had a little bit of time to play with this thing, uh, before I'm getting this video out, but I will be putting this through the tests and I want to see if this thing will actually print peak. They did send me some, I just haven't done it yet. And again, I can't get over the side panels. I love how they look. I just, I think it's cool. Uh, now, something we need to talk about is the Alchemin uses what they call an auto height and tilt calibration and mesh bed calibration. Uh, I'm going to read this directly from their words just so I don't mess this up. The intelligent electromagnetic induction sensor automates the Z-axis height and tilt calibration with micron level precision. That ensures absolute accuracy and reliability for every operation. That's what they say in their materials. I don't know how to test that, to, to be honest with you. <laughs> they say it's also equipped with auto scan zeroing and it quickly detects the build plate plane and uses algorithms to eliminate the effect of thermal expansion or tolerances achieving perfect first layer printing automatically. Uh, that is a lot of words to say it has auto bed leveling and it works really good, especially when the inside is very hot. Now a chamber filter is installed and you can see the ventilation on the back of the unit and they say it has a triple stage filter. In those three stages, they say it's a HEPA filter, a melt blown non-woven fabric and activated carbon that would help keep you safe from the high temp 
printing that goes on in, in this printer. It has a filter, it blows out the back, and it's been pretty good so far, that's all I can say. I have no way to test the other stuff, but I have no reason to believe that it's, it's not true either. Now there's something I haven't shown you yet, but actually it's one of my favorite things about this printer. It is a seven inch touchscreen. Uh, but the thing is, it folds into the side of the printer like this, and it flips out like that when you need to use it. It shows you everything you need to see right from the printer. You can also log in, uh, we'll talk about this in a second, but you can log in if you want. But this actually shows you everything you need right from the printer, and I love that it's, it tilts, it moves around, and then it stores right into the side if you wanna line these up and you don't wanna use it or maybe you just don't want it all the time, but you flip it out when you are ready to use it. I think that's one of the coolest things about this printer. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I really love that and I would love to see that on more printers. Now, along with the screen on the side of the printer, you can use Wi-Fi to connect or there is a network jack built in straight to the back of the printer as well if you wanna put this thing on your network. That is not required, you don't have to do that, but it is an option and I love using all of my stuff on my network so I can just send files straight to this. It makes it just so much easier to use, to be honest. Now the last thing I wanna talk about as far as features goes is that they say that this is gonna have a multi-material system that can use up to five filaments. They say they have shipped it to me, but it hasn't arrived yet. I don't know if it's uh, left yet, but they are shipping it to me. Uh, they, I'm going to be able to test it and, and go on with a actual review at a later date. But during the first look of this printer, I don't have it. There, it's, it's not here. They didn't send it to me yet. But it's supposed to house up to five filaments for multicolor or multi-material. They also say that the spools of filament will use an RFID reader so it can read the filament that's in, kind of like the Bamboo Lab printers do. Again, I don't have it. I have no way to test it. I can't tell you if it's good or bad. All I know is that it's coming in in the future. Hopefully I'll be able to share that with you. Now, when I got mine, it did come with a few things I wanna talk about. Uh, a, a full Allen wrench set that can be used with this handle, which is really cool. Uh, you can just you know slide your Allen wrench in and you can use it like a T-handle then. I love T-handles, so it's, it's actually a really cool uh, little thing. It came with this uh, kit here, which if you open up, has a bunch of stuff inside of it, uh, a cutter, a uh, wire brush to keep your nozzle clean, some glue for the bed if you need it, uh, some extra parts and a silicone sock it looks like, um, that kind of thing. It did come with a manual inside as well. It also came with this scraper which looks suspiciously just like the Bamboo Lab scraper without the Bamboo Lab uh, uh, I guess branding on it. Uh, maybe it's a little different, but it's very close. I love these scrapers with the Bamboo Lab printers, so hopefully this works just as good. But it did come with those. It also came with a spool holder that you put together. It is 3D printed. Um, this, I gotta tell you, is not my favorite. Uh, they did not get to see this video ahead of time, which is fine. They asked me for feedback and I, I wanna give it to them. Um, I, I don't like this. I don't like this spool holder. It's kind of like rickety. It kind of doesn't hold together good. You do need to use a spool holder off the side of a printer because as you can see where this filament is coming out, that's the filament path. It goes right here into the side of the printer. Um, not my favorite. You, you take this off, you put your spool on, and then you put it back in, but it's just, it's just kind of wobbly and falls apart and it's just, it's not my favorite thing. I'll probably end up printing a, a better one with bearings to use next to this, or I'll just use my Polymaker dry box right into this as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but um, if you're listening, you can do better. I, I know you can. It also came with a extra magnet. This is a full size magnet in case you need to replace the one that comes with. If I understand it correctly, this is going to be on Kickstarter starting probably any time now. And um, we all know about Kickstarter, just be careful. Use money you can throw away just in case something delivers. Not saying they're not gonna deliver this printer, I hope they do. And if any of you like the first look and you grab it, that's awesome. Um, but just be careful with Kickstarter. Um, you, just, you just never know what's gonna happen and 
you, you just have to be careful. But when the Kickstarter is live, I'll put it in the description below if you want to check out the price and, and that kind of stuff going forward. At the time of filming, I don't know that information. Uh, they didn't tell me. They just told me it'll be live on Kickstarter soon. So there you go. Now, the first thing I fired up off of this was a Benchy. Uh, it is, it didn't come out bad. I don't have it with me because the little man took it home and I'm gonna go grab it and I'll put a B-roll of that Benchy in here while we're talking. But it came out fine. It was fast like you'd expect and it was a Benchy. So nothing wrong with the Benchy. Now in this first look video, I don't have a ton of time to show you everything I printed, but one of the really cool things they sent me was a really cool project with a gel bead Gatling gun. Uh, they sent me all the parts to put this thing together. The prints came out very good. Uh, it was all printed, all the parts were printed off of the Alkalman. Um, it, it came out really good. Um, it, it is super cool and it uses a battery like this, which they did send me and they sent me a little charger for it too. And that just gets popped in to the bottom like so. And then you can actually blast this thing, which is pretty cool. Now my son Tristan is hiding over here. He's actually the director of the video, starting and stopping the, the, the recordings for me. Do you want to, you want to make it go? Yep. All right, come on. Oh. All right. You know how to do it. Let's do it for the camera, ready? It is pretty loud, so. Whoa, that was, one more time. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. This thing is super cool. We're gonna go into another space and blast this thing like into some targets or boxes, and I'm gonna show that while I'm talking. But I do have to say, it's really cool to see a project come with these printers. I know they're gonna do a couple of them. I think the, the Gatling gun is one. I think there's a drone um, from what I've seen in the videos and and a coffee grinder, I believe. A coffee grinder, I think is what it is. I'll, I'll show the video here while we're talking. Um, but Tristan and I are definitely gonna go in and blast this thing with the gel beads uh, in another room here. Once I get the gel beads ready, uh, I have to let them soak in water. They have to like expand and all that. But you actually, there's a little reservoir. You unscrew the cap, you fill them up here. And then there is a button uh, on the trigger here that corkscrews them up into the Gatlin area and then pff, you blast them out with that one right there. So super cool project. It came out really good. Everything went together good. And, you know, I love projects. So it, it was cool to see it come with this thing. Something else I need to say is they actually sent me a, a, a link with a bunch of really cool accessories. And I think there's going to be like two sizes of this uh, when they actually get it out. Um, a shorter and a longer one if I'm if I'm reading that right, but they did send a bunch of accessories I didn't have time to print them and put them on but there is some really cool stuff that goes along with this gel bead Gatlin gun Okay, we have everything loaded with the Gatlin gun um, You saw us load it and these little gel beads. I haven't shot these before they are crazy and they bounce around everywhere uh, Not last night the night before we had about 2,000 of them in a bag I accidentally let the bag go. It rolled off of my stove and all over my house. So it was pretty crazy. Tristan and I are in the parking lot of the studio and it is like 20 degrees outside. So we're going to hurry up with this. But uh, here's Tristan. He's got his safety glasses on. Say hi. Hi. All right. He's going to help me fire this Gatling gun into the target that you're about to see right now. All right, this thing is actually pretty heavy when it's fully loaded, and Tristan is holding on to the Gatling gun. Aim the front end towards that target. The target is over there, and you gotta push this, you gotta push, uh, where are we at here? Let me try to show the camera. Um, There's a little silver button here, you gotta push, and then the trigger, so this feeds the uh, little gel beads up, and this fires them. Are you ready? Um, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, can you fire it real quick? Do it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let me go right here. I don't know. Can you aim a little more towards the target? And you got this. Go for it. Oh, that is cool. Can I try it? Yeah. All right. All right. I don't know what you can see because Tristan is filming right now. I got the Gatling gun right here. Like I said, there's a little button here that feeds the, uh, uh, there's like an auger that feeds the gel beads up. There's a trigger that fires them. And when you fire them, it looks like that. So what I'm gonna do is get a shot of, maybe we can get some coming out. It's getting really dark and it's like 20 degrees here, but we'll see if we can get some coming out and then I'll get a close up of the target. Ready? <laughs> I 
It's so cool. Nice. Okay, Tristan and I just came back inside. It is freezing out there, but that was so much fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a ton of fun firing the uh, Gatling gun at the target. The target's actually like covered in snow. You can kind of see it if I do that right there. There's a bunch of snow all over it. There's the uh, Gatling gun. What a cool little project that came with this printer. And when it's warm out, we're going to do this again, right? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to do it again. We just can't do it indoors. For one, it shoots way faster than I thought it was going to. And for two... These little gel beads bounce around everywhere and they splat if you hit something super hard. So definitely not an indoor thing, but very cool. Now back to it. I'm right in the middle of getting this edited and I just wanted to jump in and tell you that they came out with a brand new project library. This is pretty cool. You can actually go to the uh, link and I'll leave it in the description below and you can see a bunch of really cool projects and the ones that we've seen so far are the Gatling gun like I have uh, showing here currently. We have some speakers. We have like a coffee grinder and, and a drone. Uh, 3D printed FPV drone. That's currently what's in here right now, but you will be able to find more models as they become available and uh, come right to this website and grab some really fun projects for this printer. So that's the first look. I'm excited to push this printer to its limits and really test the high temp capabilities that they say can happen. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this printer, because I far as I know, I'm the only one that has one. Now there could be other ones out there, but I haven't seen any other videos and the thing is going live like any, any time now. So I guess we'll find out. Let me know also what you want to see tested on this printer. Does it print in high temp? Does peak actually work? We are going to find out going forward along with hopefully that five color uh, filament system that they're going to be or uh, that they are sending me right now. Thanks again for sending me this unit to check out. I really appreciate that. They did send it to me. No money exchange hands or anything like that. They also didn't see this video before it went live, but I really appreciate you sending it to me. And uh, if you haven't checked out this video right here, you definitely have to check out that one. Next. Bye.